What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we're going over three of my favorite plier offerings. Some of them have features that you are unaware of. Here's the big question. Is the extra money worth it? Are the features necessary? You're most likely buying the wrong pliers. We have three well-turned pliers here. These have been my daily drivers for a while. They're at three separate price points. I can almost remember when I bought these and when I bought these. Here's the reality of the whole thing. My channel locks, I don't necessarily know when I bought these because I bought so many pairs of channel locks over the years. These are literally the industry standard and they're also our neighbor. We're in the Philadelphia metropolitan region. Channel lock is actually in central PA. These are made in America. There have been a lot of instances where I would spend the extra money because these did in fact cost more money. There's not much to say about them. They're dependable, they're useful. You can turn gas pipe, you can turn water line, you can turn bolts, you could disassemble, you can assemble. I guess that goes for all of these pliers, but not all of them are created equally. Let's talk about this next pair of pliers, voice grips. Years ago, I had an emergency service call. I needed a pair of slip groove pliers. And quite frankly, I had another set of these. It was an eight and a 10, it was a two pack. I needed the extra leverage. So I decided that I was gonna buy these 12 inch pliers in lieu of buying another pair of channel locks. These actually cost me and would cost you around $20 right now. If you're standing at the big blue box store. These are solid pliers, really, really dig them. And finally, what we have here may be a little deceiving to some of you. These are in fact Nipex Cobras or Knipex Cobras. I remember buying these as well. I got them on special at a Sears store. They were going out of business. These are made in Germany. These are identical to Knipex Cobra pliers. Now, if you wanted to buy these new, you could do that as well at the big blue box store. You're gonna be paying $30 for these. In case I failed to mention earlier, the good old made in the USA channel locks are right around 17 or $18 at the time of this video, which is, is kind of odd if you think about it. Generally, made in the USA would be more expensive. Channel locks offering here of slip, slip joint or slip group pliers, they invented the game. Frank Patrick, invented these in 1933. And everyone else that has offered them literally used his design in some capacity. Now, putting bias aside, does that mean that they're still the best? Let's put these pliers to use, doing a pretty basic task that you'll be doing if you're purchasing these pliers. Assembling and disassembling pipe here. We're gonna be able to apply plenty of torque to our pipe fitting, either assembling and disassembling. It's gonna give us a good look into what all three of these pliers are capable of. We have three quarter inch black steel pipe. The Cobras, the, the Knipex Cobras are at a little bit of a disadvantage because although this is the most expensive pair of pliers, it's the shortest at 10 inches, where the other two pairs of pliers are 12 inches. The other feature of these slip groove pliers is that instead of them just releasing, if you lift them high enough, you have a little push pin here that locks them into place. They're easily adjustable to get us into the correct size. We're able to really push down and loosen that pipe. And you can see we're able to push down on that plier even with our hand open. A lot of times when you're trying to grasp onto a pair of pliers and hold, hold those jaws shut, your hand will fatigue or it could fatigue. With the, the Knipex, 
we're able to apply a tremendous amount of torque. These are really nice, but you are paying a $30 premium. Let's move on to our voice grip set. These are 12 inch, and because of that additional length, you're able to apply more torque with these. They're very similar to the Knipix in the fact that you're able to push down this button to adjust them quickly. Voice grips are not the inventors of slip roof style pliers. The funny part is though, that voice grip name, that locking style plier was actually invented prior to channel lock inventing slip group pliers. These are the original style of locking pliers invented by voice grip. These are not voice grip. That same locking plier technology are built into these, these C-clamp style locking pliers. We use these for steel stud framing, voice grip original on them. We have the Irwin name on the other side as well. These are the second most expensive pair here. Cheaper than the Knipix, but more expensive than the channel locks. And you can see, you can get in here. We have nice sharp, we have nice sharp teeth to grab onto to our pipe fitting. And because of that extra length, they definitely loosen that fitting a lot easier. And if we swing back around, you can see, I mean, we're able to, once again, apply a tremendous amount of torque with our hand even open. If we put this pair of pliers here, I feel like you could stand on this. Like, I need another pair. Like, if, if we had two pairs, I could, I could probably stand on this. Look at that lock in. That's you see that? That's all my weight on them pliers. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. Here, look, I'm gonna put my, head on, my hand on Mikey J's head. Wow, I got you. Okay, finally, we have the inventor of slip group pliers. And at this point, the least expensive, which for me makes them unbelievably useful and worthy of investing in a whole bunch of. These are 12 inches in length. They're definitely going to have a lot of leverage. What is different and nice about the channel lock though, is that there is no push button. So we just rotate our handle up, push them down, push them up. We can adjust our pliers out and we're able to apply, look at that. Tremendous, tremendous amount of torque. I literally just tightened down this fitting with the Irwins and was tugging and pushing on it, crazy. Now if we come around to the other side, we tighten down our fitting. We're gonna get that tremendous amount of torque and we wanna push. And we're gonna push down and tighten that Tighten that down. We have to keep our hand wrapped around the wrench. This does not have that one, that one handed feature built into it. And that missing feature, that one handed feature on the channel locks is a compromise that you are making. And the reason you're probably buying the wrong slip group pliers. Oh, I got you. I could press down on those Cobras. If you're asking me my favorite pair of pliers, I think because of the made in the USA loyalty, I'd probably say channel lock, but because of the feature set and the additional one-handed feature of these Irwins and their price point of only a couple dollars more than the channel lock, I'd most likely go vice grip. Let us know down in the comments section below, would you spend the extra money for the Knipix made in Germany? Would you go with the vice grip or is the red, white, and blue the only true brand for you. I will let you know that 
Channel Lock does make a version of these pliers. The only problem is they're not readily available in the big box blue store. You'd have to order them online presently. So if you're standing there wondering in store, yeah, go voice grip. If you are able to order online and wait a little time, go channel lock. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.